So this is my first time at Lindau. We just had lunch with the Mars fellows, and I think I'm beginning to get some sort of perspective on what this is all about. You're all young scientists uh, in the making. I think it's very important that you remember two things. First, that you're going very, very deeply into something. You're becoming one of the world's experts, and it's important that you do become very deep. But the knowledge that something else is happening in a different field, or a new technology is happening over here, and you can import that into your problem, uh, is a very powerful concept. It actually helps you do better science. So, why does science matter to Mars? It's the foundation of everything we do. Engineering in the factory, how do we make our products, raw material supply chain, flavor chemistry. Everything I can think of builds a strong foundation which allows every other aspect of our company to thrive. 45 trillion, if you can imagine a number as big as 45 trillion gallons of water are wasted every year on food that is spoiled. It equals about a billion and a quarter tons of food. The water issue is beyond the notion of sitting in your laboratory and working on a very small piece of information. That's critically important. But when I look around this room, and you're from many different places and many different institutions from every country, 78 countries, imagine what would happen if you all collaborated in an uncommon way to solve some of these world problems. I don't know, do you have the feeling that maybe the, the younger generation is now more willing to go into this kind of international cooperation? So maybe it's now easier? The reality is that everyone has to do it, young, yeah. middle-aged, old. Yeah. There's no way to do it otherwise. Pablo, how is it for a scientist to work with Mars? In my case, working in the University of California, I think it's a great experience. Uh, the, we have uh, different collaborations. They are doing research in many departments. I work with the plant science department, but also with the genome center. And also I know people from the veterinary school, from the nutrition department, They're, all of them are, are receiving funding from Mars. And they are different topics. And everything happened really fast, you know, in that way the decision making is are fast. I really like it. Mm -hmm. We look across the university at every department that might have insight to what we're trying to solve, and we use them all. And we collaborate and we talk to each other, and it's an ongoing, intensive discussion and dialogue. We're not bound by any way, shape, or form mediocrity. We're bound by excellence. You know, that's why we're here. For us to, to be able to reach out and talk to these young scientists, these great scientists of the future, and encourage them to, firstly, to stay in science, that's job number one and everything that we can do through the Lindau relationship to put the great young scientists of the future in touch with, you know, clearly these guys are Nobel laureates, so some of the great, great scientists in the world today and, and have some of the great Mars scientists here as well, to put them into this kind of melting pot to try and catalyze this interest, this enthusiasm, this commitment to, to do great things in science.